First off, we're creating a brand new WebSocket client. This is essentially the phone that our client will use to call the server. Next up, we need to tell our client where the server's phone number is. That's what we're doing when we define the server's address. Now, just to be sure we know what's going on, we're printing a little message to the console. All right, here's where the real magic happens. We're actually making the phone call, establishing the connection to the server using this connect to sync thingy. And once we're connected, we print another message just to confirm that everything went smoothly. Now, to make things easier, we're going to create a reusable function called send and receive. This function is like our personal message sender and receiver. Inside send and receive, the first thing we do is turn our JSON message into a bunch of bytes. Then, we send those bytes to the server using the sendasync method. Right after sending, we print the JSON we sent to the console. If we're expecting a response, we need a place to store it. That's what the buffer is for. Then we go into a loop to actually receive the data from the server. Inside the loop, we call ReceiveAsync to get the next chunk of data. Now, if the server suddenly hangs up on us and closes the connection, we print a message. And return null. It's like saying, oops, the server disconnected. Otherwise, we convert the received bytes into a string and add it to our message builder. We keep doing this until we've got the entire message. Finally, we convert the message builder into a string, which now contains the complete JSON response. And we return it. We take all that information and turn it into a JSON string. Then, we use our send and receive function to send the initialization request and wait for the server's reply. And of course, we print the server's response to the console. Again, we turn it into a JSON string. We use send and receive to send the notification, but this time we don't expect a reply, so we tell it not to wait for one. We print a message to the console to confirm that we've sent the notification. we serialize this request into a JSON string. 
We use send and receive to send the request and wait for the server's response. And we print the response to the console. We serialize this request into a JSON string. We use send and receive to send the request and wait for the server's response. And we print the response to the console. and we print a message to the console to confirm that the connection has been closed.